advocates of a uh, high court. They are competent to go in court and defend the institution. Then you commit millions of shillings belonging to the taxpayer to go out there in court. So I want to urge this forum. Those session. I asked him to come because I know most of you have challenges with resource allocation. Those who have problems, let us use this forum. It's a good forum. My chief of staff is on top of things. She has developed a capacity under this space to receive petitions, complaints, concerns against whoever within the public space and we'll be able to put those people together. And I'm happy that when we did that between the IAG and the National Police Service Commission, many things are going on that had a problem. We'll be asking the Controller of Budget to sit with the Council of Governors. We will create that framework because sometimes the Council of Governors feels that their work is being hampered by certain decisions. When we talk to the Controller of Budget, he says, this is the law, but there is a middle ground where we can all sit down together and talk. And there is no harm in talking. I have said many times that the community I come from has a saying that buffaloes don't move together in a herd because they necessarily like each other. No, it's because of the danger of walking alone. If you go to the Maasai Mara during the wild beast migration, the beasts move in a very huge herd and they never agree to be left behind. And the lions are just waiting for any one of them to be left behind. And the minute one of the animals have hurt its foot and is left behind only five minutes, it is quickly taken away and it becomes meat. Let us work together. We don't have to like each other. It's not necessary. We have all been put together by the need to serve the people. And we serve the same people. The people the judiciary serves are the same the government of President William Ruto serves. They are the same people the parliament serves. They are the bottom line. And I think because of the people of Kenya, we can get synergy along the way and talk to each other. And there is no harm. And I have found when people sit together and talk, people are normally very reasonable. All the people in this room are very reasonable people. But when they don't talk, you stay in your own space and have your own views, you have your own way of looking at things, and because you have not had the benefit of listening to the other person, you take a prejudiced position. Let me plead that we use this forum in my office to solve all misunderstandings, all conflicts, all disputes. And I think it is possible because the few cases that have come to us, we have done. I have many complaints against SRC, as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> but the SRC also needs to be given a chance to state their case. Let us not hang them without giving the benefit of explaining themselves. says that the rules of natural justice say no man and no man for that matter should be condemned and hurt. I want to create a forum for all those who have issues with SRC. Come. <laughs> and we talk. You know, let's, let's uh, the lady is there, she'll put up her case and you put up your case and we'll agree. The Parliamentary Service Commission is up in arms and I've told the Speaker Betangula, we'll create that forum. Let the people from parliament prepare all the quiz English and come and say their case. Let the good chairperson and her team respond. Somehow we'll make progress. Because I think it's good to talk to each other. We are all Kenyans, we serve the same people, and there is nobody who has any ill will against another. We are all serving the same people. So I really want to urge that this forum that the president created in the executive order number two of 2023 is a good forum. And we are ready, we have the necessary capacity to initiate dialogue and consultations among ourselves 
with the government, with the Council of Governors, so that we don't confuse